in order to update your airpods to a beta version it's literally pretty simple so you can update using your iphone you can update using your ipad or you can update using your mac most people that have airpods use it you or use their airpods with their iphone so to update your airpods to a beta version using like an iphone the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you know your airpods and iphone are connected and then make sure that your iphone is on the latest ios version if if uh, you see that your iPhone has an update, usually what happens is Apple releases first beta versions on the iPhone and then the beta versions that are there on the iPhone are what forces the AirPods to update. So in this case, I have to update my iPhone to the latest iOS 26 beta that's available, which is this that you see. And then after my iPhone has been updated, I can go into the settings and if I select my AirPods, now you will see a new pop-up screen that will show up for the airpods if it's the first time you are updating and it will say beta updates to be at the top of your airpods page just right there but if you've already updated your airpods to one of the new beta versions then you can always go into there and you can uh, basically turn on the airpods beta updates so that's how you do it on the iphone and then the ipad it's pretty much the same thing update your ipad to the latest ipad os beta version that's available and then you can go into your airpod settings and go all the way down if it's the first time you see a splash screen or pop-up screen to tell you that there's a faster and easier way to update your airpods to beta versions if that pop-up screen doesn't show up on your ipad you can always go down and select the airport beta updates and you can basically turn it on right there if you want to use just your mac by itself to update your airports the process is pretty much similar so what you want to do is make sure that your airports are connected to your mac go into the bluetooth settings select your airports just like this and select the option that says airport settings and if you don't see a new splash screen that tells you hey you have a new way to update your airports to beta mode what you want to do is go all the way down and you will see where it says airports beta updates click on it and now you can see here there's a toggle that you can turn on for airports beta updates and you can enable pre-release beta firmware from here for your mac which is a toggle that you can turn on and off if you want to do it using the mac by itself those should work pretty easy and straightforward but if they don't work and you tried everything on your iphone or ipad there's a third way which is how we basically used to do it before ios 26 and ipad os 26 and that's basically using a mac to put your iphone into developer mode and then after that you can update your airpods so the way you do that on the mac is to head on to the official apple website which is developer.apple.com and sign in with your apple id and go to where it says uh, applications under the application you see the latest xcode version that's available which is xcode 26 beta 3 it was actually just released a couple days ago so two days ago and this is the build number and if you click on it right there you can see it will begin to download the latest version of xcode so download the latest version and then install the latest version of xcode you can basically just sign into your xcode account and then make sure that this window that you see right here is open on your mac you don't have to create a new project or clone or do any open existing projects just have this window open and now i'm going to switch over to my other camera so now you want to take one end of your usb cable plug it into your mac my mac is just sitting right here so plug in one end and take the other end and plug it into your iphone and once you've done that you can basically go into your iphone settings if you go to where it says um, privacy and security you'll be able to see a section where you can turn on developer beta mode as long as so privacy and security go to this section and if you go all the way down you'll see a section that says developer mode so if you go there make sure that this developer mode is turned on and then once it 
it's turned on go all the way to your settings home page and go all the way down like this go to developer mode and now it should be available because now you've enabled developer beta mode so then select developer beta mode and what you want to do is go to the section that says pre-release beta firmware select that and then pre-release beta program choose this and select your airports beta updates and make sure that this is turned on so that's the third way to do it using a mac and your iphone but pretty much you should be able to do it just from the airpods page on your iphone or ipad this is just a last resort if your airpods fail to update using those two means so now that we know how to do it you can see the current version that i have with my airpods and you know to be able to update your airpods to the latest version once you've put your devices into uh, developer mode it's pretty simple make sure your airpods are charged and they are connected to your iphone and basically just lay them down close to each other like this for about 15 minutes so what i'm going to do is just close this iphone and lay them down for 15 minutes and then i'll show you that they've been updated to the latest build number it's been a couple of minutes so right now if we open up our airpods let them connect to our iphone just like this i'll make sure my iphone is turned on if i close this just like this and then go into my settings my airpods show up and if i click on this page right here you can see i can go all the way down and now the version you can see it's been updated so now you can see the version is 8 alpha 308b it's different from the old one that we had that ended with a c so that's how you update your airpods to a new version and in this case since it's a beta version that's how you do it there's an interesting apple page that you might want to check out it's airpods firmware page if you search about firmware updates for airpods on uh, google you basically find this page and it basically tells you information about you know the latest airpods firmware version if i click here it will redirect me right there and then if you want to find your airpods firmware version you can basically see it gives you a guide on how to find that and if you want to see release notes for different firmware versions that are listed on this page you'll be able to see that including you know all these versions that apple covers for different airports you know three airports two among others so or if you have any current version of the airports or of the version you'll be able to see that there and what i like about this page is that basically once you are doing beta testing or any other form of testing once you know how to put your device into developer mode or you put your iphone into ios 26 beta or ipad os 26 or even your mac to mac os 26 beta once you basically enroll your airpods into a beta mode or you enroll for the beta releases for airpods testing the method to update your airpods to get the latest firmware is pretty much the same and they give you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can do that and if you have issues you know you can basically reset your airpods and if you have the airpods max and the over ear uh, airpods they also give you a guide on how you can do that so that's how basically i've been able to update my airpods put them into different beta modes and test them update them whether i'm using my iphone and ipad which is the first method shown second method you can update using your mac and third method is putting your device into developer beta mode which is a longer route but at the end of the day it still works so that's it for me if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace